Oh, got something. Probably another Jaws. What we got? It's like perch. Little perch. Another inhaler. Booyah! Okay, we're out here on Pennington Creek here in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. This is where I tested this kayak a long time ago, a couple years ago, after I first got it. Got to lock the drive in. And adjust. Give it a whirl. Why are we not tracking? Okay, so we're gonna fish. This is gonna be, I need to check this place out a little bit and 
see what's going on. Somebody got hung up. Ooh. Can you see that, that string and that lure? Let's see what we can see if we can catch it. So, you see, that'd be a good one. And we'll cut it free. Swivel's bigger. Swivel's bigger than it is. Oh man, I didn't get all the string. I'll paddle around and get it. Let's go downstream. Which I gotta get that string anyways. Take my rod out too. That's a lot of string I just took out. Ah, I love the Hobie drive. I never get to use this thing. I don't know if that was recording or not. I think I had it set on photo. So here we go. I'm down here on Pennington Creek here in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. And beautiful, beautiful morning. And uh, we're gonna fish from the old highway bridge down to the spillway. And Already this morning, I 
found a lure hung in a tree. And I love this kayak. I'm so glad I get to use it. Everybody loves the Hobie. Uh, the people that I've let, compared to my Pelican, and I like the Pelican, it's got a wide open deck area. And I, it was a toss up which one to bring today. So, we'll just make our way down to the spillway and then work our way back up. That's what I think we're going to do. Haven't been down this far in a long time, actually. Kayaks working good. What I'm using on this reel, which is a rooster tail variant, just white with black spots. Got it on my Daiwa BG 1500 and my Shakespeare Micro Series rod. I think I'm using about four, four six pound test. It's not very heavy. But I had this set up for. Um, Trout fishing, small panfish. Well, there's, soft, there's a soft shell turtle just surfaced right there. Let's turn this camera around. I don't even know if you can see me in the sun. We'll just paddle along. I was going to put in right here. There's a road that comes down almost to where that structure is and there's an old bridge. There's a couple of ducks. Wood ducks maybe underneath that underneath that tree. Yep, wood duck. Cast over towards that log. There he goes. The other rod, I have a super duper rigged up on it, and I've got some road runners I got some road runners on it on this rod Wind's not blowing too bad today. It was last few days just been brutal. 30 mile an hour wind gusts. I mean, it's just been insane. Now I could have put the kayak in here. I didn't have time. And my truck's in the shop, so I'm using Oki Fly Girl's Jeep. And Right here, right there is where I thought about putting in because the road comes down, but it's just too steep up a bank. 
I may try, I may look and see if there's a better spot down here, down further. Just cruise and see what's out down here. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna film with my my hat cam. Save the battery on the GoPro. So there's no short amount of turtles in this tree. I want to show y'all something. See that rock right there? My grandpa and I used to fish that rock so much when I was a kid, little bitty kid. We're gonna fish it right now. We'll come up over here. Start cruising. See that? Is that a stick? Can't tell. This old rock. This old rock and me a lot of memories. It's pretty deep right here. This is a turn in the creek. I don't have my depth finder with me. But when this creek along this big old granite rock, we used to catch some good perch down here. Bluegill. Ooh, see that? That's a snake. Sorry. It's a snake coming out fall off that rock. Yeah. You just swim on across. Oh, hit the grass. We'll need him over here with us. Catch anything when it's all balled up. snakes just now he's going up into the weeds right now better than crawling in the boat
catch y'all a recording. I don't know if you caught that. I went for a swim. So I like this reel. If I can take it to salt water, fresh water, I've got a 1500, I've got 2500, 1000, 5000, 8000. I mean, I just like them. They're just good reels, and they're not very expensive. <clears throat> We're still by the spillway. Right. We don't catch something on this uh, super duper. We'll switch over to the uh, secret weapon road runner. We're going to start heading back towards the bridge now. GoPro, stop recording. I thought about trying to go up in this cove. I don't know if I can make it. It's pretty shallow. I think it's going to be too shallow. But let's take a look at it. shallow uh, flippers are hitting I don't see a my There's a small channel right here really small channel Somebody must have dug this out by hand. Had to have. It is definitely a channel. Shipwreck. Sunken boat. Oh, the turtles. Old oh, fiberglass boat. Too shallow. Uh, there's some kayaks. GoPro stop recording.
got muddy. Trying to get out of there. Well. Not a single bite on either the rooster tail or the super duper. Switch them out and put on a rooster tail. GoPro. Oh, I put a little rooster tail or a road runner, I'm sorry, with a little little frog. I'm gonna try that. If I was a fish, I'd bite it. There we go. I got warm earlier. I had to take off the hoodie. Back at Grandpa's Rock. be something off the edge of this thing. Well, this part, Pennington Creek, Blue River, is part of the uh, fishing trails, and I think this summer I'm going to set out and I'm going to try to hit at least every fishing hole on that fishing trip. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I'm going to try to set out and hit every fishing hole on that fishing trail. Whether in a kayak, rod and reel. I think I'll bring y'all along. We're almost back to the park and then we're going to go up to the uh, bridge. I've got a meeting here in about 45 minutes. And... GoPro, stop recording. Oh, you just missed it. Got a nice bass. Oh, did you catch that? Oh, he threw it out. That was a nice little bass. Oh. Would have liked to get got him in. That was nice. Spin around here and see if he'll bite again. That was fun. I thought I was hung up there for a minute. Try this again. 
he come out of the water twice just shaking that was fun I doubt if he'll bite again but who knows maybe he hungry for a little frog That was a good sized bass. Would have loved to got him in. a little closer to shore. He may have went back to shore. One more. Probably, if I would have put my rod tip down in the water, he probably would have been at least you got to see him flip up. Yeah, he hit. He just laid there. Oh, that time I did get hung up. Oh, I spooked him off for sure now. Over there and un untangle my line. Come on. Gotta back out of this now. The only thing I wish I had on this kayak was reverse. Good job. He inhaled it. We didn't go skunk today. I like catching it. out of all that without having to get out of the kayak. <laughs> there, it, there we go. Oh,
gonna cast off this rock right here. I'm gonna let it kind of sink down and bounce it right along the you see that rock it comes out actually there's two over so far catching my uh, that was a good cast right there that's what we aim for we strive to be the best <laughs> 